So, uh, you know, just checking in on the standings here. One thing that is big this year, it looks like Takata is going to be a checkpoint again this year, which is going to obviously impact this, the race quite a bit because a lot of people, I think, are going to choose to 24 there. I think Jesse and Brent are going to push through to over. It looks like they're resting just shy of McGrath after making the run, uh, <clears throat> you know, there and you know which would propel them to get to over and then maybe do a really long uh, arduous push but basically if you know they can kick their dogs you know in good condition all the way to Iditarod uh the halfway point I believe I don't even know if it's a southern northern route I'd have to check that you know what I mean but you know obviously um it, it, this is where the strategy moments that are going to determine the race and whether the dog's going to be resilient and be able to adapt and handle those strategy choices of these individual competitor mushers, uh, where it really is going down right here in the next day or two. Because, you know, people are getting a lead and they're going to be able to stretch that lead out or they're just going to get a little bit of lead and then lose it, you know, 400 miles up the trail. When the teams that are being a little bit more conservative now, uh, that, you know, still have a big, uh, powerful, fast group of dogs 400 miles up the trail. And it's going to be sort of a catch-22. You know, it's hard to really say right now. You know, Brent looks like a little bit uh, dejected, a little bit down in the dumps. He was hauling dogs. In other words, a dog might have got injured or... Uh, something like that, and so you put the dog in the sled bag, which obviously reduces your speed quite a bit when those dogs on the team have to haul an extra, and Brent's got a big dog, and a 50-55 pound Alaskan Husky, uh, and obviously that's not an ideal situation for him, he's already down to 11, like I already said, and you know, we're really looking at sort of this, uh, sort of this pivotal, the crux moments in the race, the weather looks beautiful, it's a bluebird sky, you know, it's great snow conditions, and you know, Jesse looks like he knows he's he's positioned well, he got through the technical uh, farewell burn, Happy River steps in the Dalesdale Gorge, in terms of that technical section of the trail as the teams climb up over the Alaska range and drop down into the interior. It looks a little bit cooler, but not that much cooler in the interior of Alaska. You know, we're talking about McGrath, we're talking about Nikolai, and, you know, they're getting into some flatter, uh, you know, there are some hills, but it's not going up over the Alaska range, and soon enough, those dog teams will be, you know, piloted out to Ruby on the Yukon River, and then headed towards the Bering Sea. So, you know, it's going to be pretty fun to watch. Um, you know, I'm, I'm looking at Jesse Strong, I'm looking at Richie Deal, I'm looking at Pete Kaiser, I'm looking at Kelly Maxner, uh, you know, there's a host of other teams that are you know within striking distance as well Brent I feel like he's got a red flag on him I feel like Nick Petit and Ryan have red flags they've dropped dogs they don't look as positioned as well